So this one is on page 19 if you want to try it out on a piece of paper as well. Or you can just pause the video. Actually, no, pause the video, take a look, try to see how to make sense of this question and where is the direction of the force at x. So something to highlight, equilibrium, and this thing, the diagram show the direction, not the magnitude of forces. What this not the magnitude means, basically, uh, your diagram is not to scale. So don't just look at the arrow and compare. It's just a warning, ah, they let you know. Okay, so we can think of this in a few ways. You can think in uh, net force, net torque, but in this case, it's a little easier to think of net torque. So, let's see. Here, see, do I have a ruler? Easier to do if I got ruler. Okay, so let's say I have a ruler, some weight here at this end. I don't think I have a weight to hang for you. Oh, I do. Wait, ah. Uh. Carabiner. Can go in, ah. Uh. Hey, cannot. Fine, never mind. <laughs> so we have a ruler, weight pulling down against the wall, and then some support like this. So you can try this out in your own ruler. Imagine your hand is the wall and your thumb is the that Z thing to hold it up like this. Okay, so you see? Holding up the thing. Now if I pull down the tip, what's going to happen? How is the wall going to support this rotation? Okay. You can choose to take a moment about uh, each point. Uh, if you take a moment about Z, how about that? Let's choose Z as our pivot, just to check and see. Uh, so then R has no effect. So if you choose Z as your pivot, W has a clockwise moment. It's going to cause the thing to move that way. X then have to cause an anti-clockwise moment here. So you know, X should be somewhere below this rod. Lah. It should be pointing somewhere there. So that's the first clue. Okay, I rub it off. So it should be somewhere here, 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 here. All these directions will cause an anti-clockwise moment. Means A is out, B possible, C is definitely out. Okay. So how do we know whether it's B or D in this case? One choice they say is either here or here. Well, you need to check the moments of the whole thing. So, I would say this one is not, this one is. So, D is the closest answer you can choose to decide where this uh, wall will be pushing. Why not B? Because, because the wall will have two components, like what we did in the previous question. Something out. So these red color are components and something either up or down in this case a little bit down so it cannot be b because b means you have something down these are the components and something left why would the why would the force exert why would the wall exert a force leftwards huh you're supposed to push out on the rod so it's to the right so d is the best choice you can do in this case for the direction of the rod at x.